So what does Ben Shapiro have to say today? Sexuality is not the same as race. Sexual behavior is not the same as race. These things are not the same as race. Yes, that's very true. We extended that rubric because, again, the left is constantly looking for what is our next civil rights battle so that we can be the moral heroes. It's almost like you're saying that Republicans shouldn't be involved in trying to expand civil rights. And for them right now, it's gay marriage. So with the Democrats taking the Senate, they are now going to move ahead with a vote on a gay marriage bill. Now, what is the purpose of a gay marriage bill? There is no purpose to a gay marriage bill. Obergefell has already been ruled upon. Yeah, but that could be overturned. And a simple gay marriage bill is not even a constitutional amendment. So it's not even above and beyond the Supreme Court ruling. The Supreme Court ruling is still the law. If the Supreme Court ruling were overturned, a quick majority in the Senate could quickly overturn this law. Possibly, but would they? Okay, but the idea here is that you're going to get all the Republicans on record as to whether they support or do not support same-sex marriage. Now, let me just put this out there for the Republican senators. If you vote in favor of the idea that society has an obligation to recognize male-male or female-female dyads in the same way that society has an obligation to recognize male-female, you should not be in the Republican Party. Why? Do you think there shouldn't be gay Republicans either? You shouldn't. Hey, the reason I say this is not because I wish to shrink the size of the Republican Party. Because if the fundamental basis of human society is male-female child, and you think that by passing a law you can change that reality, you do not belong in government. Nobody is making that argument. This is a very simple proposition. Men and men are not the same as a man and a woman who are capable of becoming one flesh and producing a child. This is not difficult stuff. So men and women who can't produce children shouldn't be able to get married? Many Republicans will be tempted to vote for this simply to avoid the conflict so that people don't yell at them. Oh my gosh, you're not respecting love is love. Now, first of all, the love is love argument was always bullcrap. The left doesn't even believe love is love. The left has its own restrictions on what it believes is acceptable, at least for now. The left does not actually believe that all sexual relationships are perfectly equivalent. They would not presumably be in favor of brother-brother marriage. They'd not be in favor of father-daughter marriage, I would assume, for now. Yeah, I have my doubts that the Democrats will ever support incestuous relationships. They're not in favor of adult-child marriage, for now. Uh, no, not for now. It's simply not going to happen. Okay, but they don't even believe that quote-unquote love is love. What they actually believe is that marriage should be redefined to mean whatever they believe it ought to mean. No, they just expanded it to include same-sex couples. Maybe at some point it will be expanded to include polyamorous relationships. Who knows? And that they get to socially engineer society along the lines of their utopian visions. Is simply allowing for same-sex marriage social engineering? In which individual sexual preference is the core of human identity. Yes, there are people who push that, but it's certainly not everyone. There are plenty of gay couples, straight couples, who get married for a variety of reasons. As opposed to, you know, actual biological reality in which the most important thing that human beings do is procreate, have babies, and then live inside those relationships, bring up those kids. Well, I mean, it's very true that hedonism is very different than raising a family, sure, but lots of straight people get married for a variety of reasons. Should we make it illegal to get married unless it's for procreation? Now, the Republicans can pretend along with this in order to avoid controversy, but it just shows how gutless they are if they do. So what exactly will this bill do? Supposedly, it will protect all religious liberty and conscious protections available under the Constitution or federal law, including but not limited to the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, and prevents this bill from being used to diminish or repeal any such protections. It confirms that nonprofit religious organizations will not be required to provide any services, facilities, or goods for the solemnization or celebration of a marriage. Seems like it's still allowing for religious freedom, so what's the issue? It guarantees the bill may not be used to deny or alter any benefit, right, or status of an otherwise eligible person or entity, including tax-exempt status, tax treatment, contracts, agreements, etc. So it's giving basically a bunch of carve-outs to religious organizations. It makes clear the bill does not require or authorize the federal government to recognize polygamous marriages. I, I find that hilarious because I'm just wondering what moral basis Democrats have to declare that polygamous marriages are morally inferior to same-sex marriages. Many people do make an argument for polygamous marriage. I need, I need the actual rubric by which you say that two is different in kind than three or four. And why that difference in kind is significantly more important than the difference in kind between male-female and male-male. I don't see a problem with polygamous marriage. The bill would also recognize the importance of marriage, acknowledging that diverse beliefs and the people who hold them are due respect and affirms that couples, including same-sex and interracial couples, deserve the dignity, stability, and ongoing protection. Okay, again, the reason that they are putting interracial couples in there is because 
they know that everybody approves of interracial couples. Any like the acceptance correctly of interracial couples in America is at an all time high. They're putting that in there. So if you vote against the bill, they can then claim you're a racist. I think it's more about just showing how civil rights have been expanded across the years. It's a, it's a particularly stupid trip that they use for omnibus packages. I'll put in there a bunch of crap and then they'll be like, plus funding for the police. You vote against the bill like you hate funding for the police. Look, that does happen sometimes, but I don't think this is one of those cases. And yeah, this is the dumb game that they're playing right here. But no, actually, diverse views of marriage are not required to be upheld by the government of the United States. It turns out that words have definition. Marriage is a word with a definition. The changing definition of the word marriage cannot simply be done by rote at the top levels of government by a bunch of people who believe they are your moral betters with little to back that particular assessment. What's the right way to redefine marriage then? I mean, you could say, oh, we shouldn't redefine it at all. It's just like, well, you know, times change and uh, common concepts eventually morph into other things. So what is the right way to do this? The bill would guarantee that valid marriages between two individuals are given full faith and credit regardless of the couple's sex, race, ethnicity, or national origin. So basically, even if Obergefell were overturned, if you got married in California and you're a man and a man, then you move to Alabama, then the state would have to treat you as though you're a man and a woman, is essentially the, the argument under this bill. Yes. Republicans at some point are going to have to make some stands on some important issues. And I failed to see how same-sex marriage has become a not important issue just because the Supreme Court ruled wrongly in defiance of the Constitution and all available predicate in all common law that, that male-male, female-female are the same as male-female. I think it's simply Republicans catching up with the times. Have a joy, joy day.